Hello everyone's everyone's I'm Lady T506. Welcome to my channel. I am here for Love and Hip Hop New York Season 8 The Reunion Part 2 as well as Love and Hip Hop Miami Season 1 The Reunion Part 1. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of Real Housewife in the land in there because I only had like three or four things to talk about and I was like um do I really want to make and edit a whole video about that when I can just jam it in here. So I thought okay let's go ahead and do that. Let's talk about it. We discussed Portia and the reason why she left. For her own sanity and her own peace of mind, she decided to leave. She had no ill will towards anybody else. She just decided, I'm not here for this. I didn't work on my anger management. She didn't say that, but I'm paraphrasing and I'm a little reading between the lines. Support she go. They go to their new place where they're going to be staying at. Everybody is happy with their new accommodations. Let's give Sheree a makeover. Not really sure why y'all want to be up at 1 o'clock in the morning because it couldn't be me. I'm not getting up at 1 o'clock in the morning. To put on no hair, to put on a whole new outfit, and to pose to send pictures to my man. Well, first of all, I wouldn't have no man that's in jail. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that out there. But it's one o'clock in the morning. The only thing I wanna be doing is sleeping. I'm not getting full on dressed to send this man the pictures. I don't know how I'm gonna send it. I don't know if the prison system has upgraded to where you can send pictures to an individual person, but unless he just snuck a phone in there or somehow got a phone in there, how are we gonna send these pictures? pictures to him marlo you tell it on your cousin your cousin gonna end up in solitary you talking about some my cousin he got a phone and he in jail cynthia she says she want to do somewhat a baptismal so she sprinkled some water on herself called it a baptismal nene went on a rant talking about she's not now not now or ever has she been in a relationship tried to get with tyrone kissed tyrone dated tyrone hell hands with tyrone but i was like the way she was going at it she sounded kind of guilty but i'm just not i'm just not seeing nene trying to get with tyrone that whole when her and greg was supposed to be breaking up i think they did that because of some some financial issues with greg and they just needed to seem like they was breaking up so they wouldn't come out of her money that's how i feel now i'm with love and hip-hop new york the reunion part two and Naive says she is going to continue to send Navarro new pictures of herself. She says her being flirtatious is part of her culture. Now, last week she was saying, you know, her showing her lady parts, that's part of being an artist. This week is, you know, me and, me being flirtatious, that's part of my culture. I'm like, just go ahead and say it. You like showing your private parts and you like being flirtatious. This is what you got to do. I don't know if this is a try to make um, Ruben mad because it's something like, I just pictured you just doing these things so Ruben can fight for your love. Y'all remember on the Five Harveys when they was doing um, Shy Brother and all that stuff. That dude was like, I gotta fight for my love every night. I was like, are you doing that? Like, I'm gonna need you to stop saying that you are artist and this is your culture. Explain why you're doing certain things. But I need to get on Navarro because she said she's gonna continue to send new pictures to Navarro. And Navarro sat there and said he's gonna continue to have Anais as a client. Knowing good and well his girlfriend, fiance, wife, mother is child, I'm not sure what she is right now, is sitting there saying that she don't like this and he needs to stop. Now this is like one time and one exception to where I'm like, okay, I agree. I don't need my man working with this, you know, person. You know, it's any other time it's like I don't you know, people get on her, you my man, so I don't want you working with nobody else. No, in this particular case right here. If you're going to continue to have this girl send new pictures of you, y'all don't need to be client and, you know, um, manager no more. You know, change your whole completely phone number so she can't be sending you new, new pictures. Because clearly you don't need a client like this. But um, And it's just like, this is what I do. I'm an artist. This is part of my culture. But I'm pretty sure everybody in your culture would have her out here being flirtatious and showing their lady parts to anybody who wants to see them. Just saying. So, we got to talk about Anaïsa's behavior when they was in St. Mark. Now, we clearly see Nanny say, we are here to, before they even went to St. Martin, we here, we going there to work, okay? That's not, we ain't going there to party, none of that stuff. We're not going to be on the, on the beach getting sand, sun tans or none of that. We there to work, 
help out the people of St. Martin. Well, I guess Aunt A started her role of helping out, was helping out at the bar and helping people with the drinks. Her her role was there to be party. Everybody else was like, y'all had the serious roles of like helping rebuild, getting food together. But my role is to make people happy and party. My thing is, why was there a bar right there for her to have a drink in the first place? If we there for something serious like that, why is there a full bar in the background? Like, we know how Aunt Ayes is and I just need to know that why do we have a full on bar right there in the first place? Let's move over to Cayenne and Brittany. Cayenne don't know why Brittany mad at her. She doesn't know where this beef stems from. And I'm like, I'm thinking it's like her beef with everybody else. You try to do my style and the way I go through things. But like, like, did anybody really know who Brittany was before she was on this show? And I'm being completely honest about that. Y'all know I be like three years behind on stuff and like, oh, that person had some music out and they was really famous? But, you know, Brittany, her whole thing, Brittany always thinks somebody's stealing her style. Like, she is the first person, first artist in history, first person in history that is going to have different colored wigs on. Like, Little Kim was doing this in, like, the mid, like, 90s. You're not the first person to do this. And then we got to discuss this whole song and, like, her being mad at Cayenne. But this wasn't Cayenne's fault. thing was... Safari, Jaquay, Mariah Lynn, and Brittany. They all went to the studio and worked on her song. Individually, we were supposed to go by ourselves and record it and make it crisp, clear. And then send it to Jaquay so Jaquay can get things together. He talked to Brittany. Told her, I need your verse. Okay, I'm out of town, but I'm going to send it to you by four. Four came and went. The next day came, and they were going to be f filming. So they were like, okay, J um, Cayenne, we was going to have Cayenne and Brittany both on the song. Well, Brittany, she had to send her final cut. Therefore, we're just not even going to put it on the phone. Cayenne ain't had nothing to do with you not being on, on the record. You not sending your verse to Jaquay is why you not on the record. But I can see how it looks kind of shifty. But like they said, y'all both were supposed to be on the record. But you did not send your final cut. So why are you mad? I'm like, she always mad about something. I'm like, what do you expect? So mm. that was basically it on Love and Hip Hop. Um, New York and everything. We had a little screaming matches. But other than that, that's basically what happened. Let's get over here to Miami. Now... We kind of sort of get why Trina treats Bobby a certain type of way. Bobby is the cousin from her daddy's side. She don't really, she ain't really cool with her daddy's side of the family. So, you know, she ain't known Bobby. They ain't known each other all their lives. Maybe, I'm I'm just say for like the past five, ten years they've known each other. So she's kind of kept him at arm's length. But my thing is, I don't like how she treats Bobby and how she lets her, her employees treat Bobby. Mainly assistant dude Alvin. Like, you letting Alvin just talk to Bobby in your type of way. Now, I don't care if well, I just found out to my cousin last week. I'm not going to let my friend sit there and doggy like that. I'm going to let my friend know, no, that's not cool. Don't be treating my cousin like that. Regardless of how my cousin's going to have, regardless of how my cousin's acting. But once I got my cousin's on, I'm like, man, you know you shouldn't be doing that. You know you're dead wrong for that. I'm not going to blast you in front of everybody because you're my cousin. But I'm going to need you to act better, all right? So that's the whole thing going on then. But I'm like, I really, really need you to stop treating your, treating Bobby like that and letting your assistant, uh, Alvin, treat him in your type of way. Liz, she tries to step in to defend Bucky because um, Pleasure P and Doggone was going on about her and about the way she was acting. And like, big baby, whoa, I don't know what was going on with him, but... The way he was acting, I was like, you seem like you have some kind of, like, abusive tendencies. The way you was really yelling at that girl. I felt, like, scared for her for a second. And, like, Prince jumped up to, like, you know, protect Liz. Because that's his ex-girlfriend. And I go, oh, dude from Pretty Whippy with the dreads. Like, he come running out of nowhere. Like, I'm telling you, you had to be looking at the screen the whole entire time. Because, like, too many people was jumping up at once. And almost catching people. And I was like, oh my goodness. Like, I'm trying to do my notes and looking down. But I can't look down and look up at the same time. But my thing is, he over time, I was like, my woman shouldn't be acting that way. She was act that way, acting that way because she was defending you. Because you was over time, I have things was going on with Pretty Ricky. Now, 
Yes, Bucky is extra, but that's your woman, and you should have been defending her. Yeah, in wrong and all, you should have just pulled her to like defend her in front of your dudes. But then, like, took her to sound like, girl, you really didn't need to go on her. You didn't have to call him fat. You didn't have to call them like some nobody. You really, really didn't have to do that. Like, but that's still your woman. But they was going at it. But I was like looking at Big Baby Whoa, like, hold up now, you look like some kind of like abusive kind of person right here towards this girl that you don't even know. So, at this point, somehow I was going on with them, like, veered over to, like, Chinese Nikki and Chinese Kitty. And, y'all, when Bucky said, we still trying to figure out what you look like, I mean, I was done from that right there. Then, like, the the daughter, which Chinese, the, the daughter, she hopping up. I'm like, why? See, girls, this is an example right here why you shouldn't try to get the cheapest booty implants out here. Save up your coin and go to a reputable doctor that's gonna make you look good and not like making your booty look wobbly like that. Like you should know by now that your your booty do, does not look right. So you should have had you a good tight tight pair of spanks so it can like keep it impact and kind of like a natural booty and not that wobbly mess that was going on. I was like, girl, I was I look when she hopped up because she's ever trying to fight Bucky. I'm like, girl, what's going on with your behind? That, I mean, it was fast, but it was enough to where I could say something ain't right about her. Stop going to these cheap places to get your behind done and you wouldn't have her out here looking like that. You have to have the right amount of booty to like thigh meat ratio. You can't be having a big old booty and then your leg looking like this. I'm going to need people, women and men that are trying to get their behind done, make sure that you have booty to thigh ratio it gotta match okay that's what makes it look realistic because when you got this big old behind and then you got a stick of a leg people gonna know it's not right just saying so Malik basically broke up with Jeffrey on stage she was like things ain't working out and I believe he said they ain't never gonna be together and Malik was looking like okay this is the first time I'm hearing this we done flew on a plane here together and I'm just now finding out that we not together and I'm like you know what I don't really feel sorry for you because you you messed things up with Bobby to be with this man who just broke up with you on live tv I was like I don't know what was worse you being broken up on, not live TV, but on TV when you thought she was in a full-on relationship. But I guess it's worse for Bucky because Bucky sat there and watched Scrappy, you know, propose to Erica on live TV right in front of her. I guess it was worse for Bucky. But it still felt, I didn't feel bad for you because you got into this relationship when you was in a full-on other relationship, so... So, that was basically what happened on this episode. I was not a fan of Bucky's hair because at first it looked like her... She had like a shaved side going on with like a hair going swoop in the back. But she had like some either braids or twists right here. And I thought it was a track at first until like they zoomed in and I saw that it wasn't a track. Big Baby Woe was giving me Harlem Nights tease with what he had on and he had on a fur so i guess that's the theme now on all the love and hip-hops at least one person has on a fur or it's not an actual love and hip-hop dot 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 reunion kind of situation mm. so y'all that was suggested when on if i left anything out by all means leave a comment or video response and like i always know that my subscribers and the people watch my video i want you to like this video comment and subscribe and share this video with your friends on facebook twitter instagram and here on youtube this is lady t signing off have a good one.